So it is now time to introduce our second guest of the evening, and it is Millwall fan and professional welterweight boxer, Johnny Garten. Now, Johnny the Pexican Garten made his professional boxing debut on the 21st of October 2011, defeating Danny Donchez on points. Now, he vowed to keep busy, and since then he has fought back four other opponents, defeating three on points and knocking out Becky Mayo. He started boxing at the age of 16 at the Lynn Box Club in Camberwell before moving on with coach Terry Palmer to the Double Jab Boxing Club in Forest Hill. As an amateur, he won two London Novice ABA titles and two South East Divisional ABA titles. His next bout, his sixth professional fight, is at the Coronet Elephant and Castle on November the 23rd, where he will box over six rounds for the first time. So it is my absolute pleasure to welcome to the show Johnny Garton. Good evening, Johnny, and welcome to Lions Live. Hi, you all right? Hello, Johnny. Hello, How are you John, doing? John. Thank you for coming on the show. Yes, my pleasure. Ah, uh, so how have you been? You've been busy training tonight, haven't you? Yeah, I've literally just walked out of the gym there. Have you? Oh, I thought that was your heavy breathing. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good session? Uh, yeah, it was hard. It was hard. Was it? And um, is it three weeks now to your fight? Uh, two weeks tomorrow. Two weeks tomorrow. Of course it is. Wow, that's come round quick. Do you, are you ready? Are you confident? Uh, yeah, I can't wait, to be honest. My uh, opponent got named today, so uh, I think he's, he likes to come and have a fight, so that's what I've been waiting for. So. Oh. Who is that, Johnny? What's that, sorry? Who, who is your opponent? To be honest with you, I can't remember his name. I just said his name. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> we ain't got it here. That's why I was trying to get it off of you. That's <laughs> you can have anyone, though, can't you, Johnny? I'm sure. Um, but well, no, I, just, I don't never remember their names. You think too much into it, then I'd rather just get in there and deal yeah. with whoever's in front yeah, of me. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you study your opponents beforehand? Do you sort of study the way they fight and that? Will we be doing uh, that? Not really. Not until I get to about eight or ten rounds. Uh, as an amateur, I used to turn up on the night and have to fight whoever's put in front of me and deal with it there and then, so I just do the same there. Yeah. Now, how did you get into boxing, Johnny? Um, you just said I started with 16, I was 18, when, where it was, I was just out a lot, eating, drinking, putting on both face. I just went down the gym to uh, lose a bit of weight, and uh, went from there, I just got beat up a times in sparring, and kept going back to get my own back with them. Wow. Now, Johnny, um, you're a massive Millwall fan, aren't you? And I understand the Millwall fans, you've got a big support in your boxing. Um, where do you sit in the den? Uh, the west up of block two. Ah, oh, OK. And what's your thoughts on the season so far? Yeah, it was a bit bad at the beginning of the season, but we're starting to pick it up now, so uh, it's good. John, let's come back to your boxing for a minute before we talk about Millwall, because uh, I, I love me boxing and you're well, well to wait, yeah? Yeah, and the, I mean, progressing up the six rounds, and obviously it's a, it's, it's, it's a, a learning curve at this moment in time. I'm sure you, you, you probably think that yourself, uh, Johnny. It, slowly but surely, you build your fitness up, your strength up, but obviously it is a, a matter of um, picking opponents to give you that experience. Is, is this a, a guy that you're fighting? Is he an experienced man, or is he a, 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 a bit of a novice like yourself on uh, the 23rd? No, he's, uh, he's experienced, but he's what you call a journeyman. Oh, yeah. yeah. Basically, you, you, uh, well, in my last five fights, I've had journeymen, but to be honest, they were useless. They ain't really tested me. And this is going to be quite a big test for me, to be honest. And uh, I think it's going to be a tough fight. But sure, as a fighter, that's what you want, though, John. <laughs> you want to be challenged every time you walk in that ring. because uh, Definitely. Uh, this is what I've been saying to people. You give me someone to come and fight, and I will show what I can do. Oof. Becky Mayo, although he's not that great, he did come to have a go. And it stopped him and didn't stop him three years. So, so it, if someone picks it on me, I will give it back to him. Have you and your coach got a plan of sort of so many fights before you go for like a, a southern area title, all building up towards a, obviously the British title? I'm sure uh, you, is, your sights are on that eventually. Is that how, you, how yeah, um, I may or may not have another six. I want to jump straight to eight, to be honest with you. Maybe a ten and then uh, an, inter, an interim title, like a British Masters. It's not a great title, but. Stone. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, what what type of uh, problems do you think you're going to get from moving from four to six? Is it is it just a, is it a stamina problem? What, what have you been what have you been training for that? It's stamina, so you can do it. But me personally, I don't start getting gas in the rounds. 
and I've thrown lots of body shots, so the longer distance I've been able to treat me better. Mm. Now we're getting quite a lot of emails coming in for you Johnny I've got one from Michael Shannon He says, um, Johnny I've seen you box quite a few times as a pro and an amateur um, He says you look tough and exciting And what he wants to know is um, Is there any truth of you being dropped by someone who was wearing a blow up glove? <laughs> now I know Michael Shannon He's uh, just because he got dropped um, And Elton did no way find him up that day. You don't like it. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're getting... He's actually a good mate of mine. Let's see. Oh, hiya, Michael. We're giving him a shout out. Um, I've got another one here from Stevie Reynolds, um, originally from Liverpool, but now living in Peckham. He says, um, Johnny, if you could pick one place to fight, where would it be? And um, also, Johnny, what would you like to achieve as a professional fighter? Uh, I'll win a British title in Longdale, And uh, I suppose the best place to defend it or win it would be at the den. Whoa! Yeah, it'd be great. Wouldn't that ju- oh, that'd be great. Yeah, what's it like having all that Millwall lot behind you, Johnny? Did it give you a lot of inspiration? Yeah, definitely. Look, a few times when you're fighting, most of the time you do block it all out, but um, every now and then you do hear it, it does give you a big boost and you just step it up, so that's I've never thought it had been this good. I've got an email from James the Lampster Lamb. He says, uh, good evening, Lions Live. What I want to ask Johnny is, is there a boxer that you would really want to fight and why, and including any from history? Oh, there's loads I'd like to fight. So this, um, the kid just coming up for the ranks now, Gary Kukorum. But he's just dropped down to light well. Uh, he's got a very listening style to me. Uh, so I'd like to fight him. There's Ronnie Ephron. There's also someone who I've, I'm a good friend of these, uh, Aaron Harris. We're good mates, but he beat me as an amateur. I've never really got over it, to be honest. So you want payback? You want uh, round two? Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm good mates now, and he's a light bolter as well, so he's too light now. So I just take everything in his stride, to be honest. Uh, they never come. How do you do? How do you do with your weight, Johnny? I know that's on me, but with boxers, I know what it's like. It's, uh, it's sometimes it's a struggle for a few of you to get to your your weight, do you manage it all right? When I get my diet properly, I do, but I'm, to be honest, I'm a greedy git. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. <laughs> I, love, I love my food, so, uh, yeah, but once I get a diet again, it's all right, and I've, since I've turned pro, I've always been in the gym, so I've always maintained my weight. I'm in the gym five, six days a week. So what's a good diet for a boxer then? Is it steaks? I see them sort of eat steaks and that. Is that, is that what you do or? What's not the one diet? you're on, Graham. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> My one won't help you out, Johnny, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what's, what's a good, what's a good diet? What are you supposed to eat? Uh, well, some boxers do eat steaks, but me personally, I hold my weight. So mine's more white meat, chicken and fish and things like that. Salads. And then I eat little carbs that I might have little pots of rice every now and then. I try not to eat potatoes and things like that. And yeah. lots of fruit. And would you, um, before a bout, will you eat more before a bout, or do you not do that? What, how, how, how's a boxer prepare for a, a bout? Well, I don't know, I've only weighed on in the day, so I've only weighed on two or three hours before I fight. Yeah. So uh, I'll weigh on, I might have a little piece of chicken, a bit of fruit, and I just try and drink as much water as possible right, just yeah. to rehydrate yourself because yeah. usually on the day you drain yourself to get them last couple of pounds off mm. do you know Mr Maloney at all Johnny I don't know him personally no another Millwall fan yeah he yeah, is yeah uh, he, uh, he might open a few fights you later in your career mate when you're looking for world fights <laughs> About that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate, I've made you world champion before you fought your first six rounder. But <laughs> I've got an email from Roy Robson. He says, uh, "Hi, Sam and guys, uh, coming from around the old Kent Road, Johnny. Um, you've got massive shoes to fill, following the footsteps of Sir Henry Cooper and David Hay. Um, how do you feel about carrying the torch for both South East London and Millwall in the boxing ring?" Well, yeah, now you just put a lot of pressure on me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My goal is just to win a British title. If I could get that, I'd be over the moon. So that's my aim, and that's I'm not trying to impress anyone. That is my goal, and that's all I want to do. To them, and how many, how many fights will you need to do that feasibly? It all depends. Uh, obviously, if I can stay unbeaten, I'll yeah. get there a lot quicker. But yeah. I, I don't think I will stay unbeaten. I will get beat somewhere. Oh, I'm way. sure you won't. So it set me back a bit, but. Um, that all depends on me and 
promoters and money. That's the most thing, money. Will, will you move away from the coronet as you get better and, and better? I bloody hope so. <laughs> 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 now, is the fight so- sold out yet? Can we still get more tickets? Yeah, you can still. I've still got tickets. Um, yeah? I can always get more tickets, so more people want to go, just let me know. And is that through your website? My website ain't actually live yet. So is the best way Twitter? You can get in touch with me through Twitter or Facebook. Okay. Right. My number's all over Facebook, so you'll be able to get it off of there. Now, yeah. I talked about David Hay and that. Now, David seems to be... He's now reached some notoriety, and he seems to be a West Ham fan or something like that. I don't know what, who he supports now. You're going you're gonna to stick with the Lions, aren't you, mate? Yeah, there's no going back for me. Way. Uh, yeah, well done. And are you down here Saturday? Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely down here Saturday and then leave the week after, innit? Yeah, That's right. Sunday. Yeah. 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 Bring well, some tickets with you. Bring your gloves yeah, for Leeds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> well, you, well, they give you time off from training to come to the matches, do they? Well, Saturday's my day off. Uh, oh, right. Sundays and Fridays are days when I have to train, so I get Saturdays off. And you sound like a very intelligent boxer to me, uh, Johnny. You sorted your days out so you don't miss me a wall. Well done. We are trying. <laughs> well, remember the week after. It's a Sunday against Leeds, so you have to go in on the Saturday. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so if Terry's me. listening, you're going to have to have a chat with him. Terry? A- as Terry, is he good with his days? I mean, you might be able to shuffle them around there. You said that's the week after? Yeah, yeah, the 18th. It's on a Sunday. Oh, I won't be training that weekend. This is my, uh, oh, like before the fight. Oh, oh, right. That's your Sunday off, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it was Kenny's five-year anniversary on Tuesday. Um, what's your thoughts on him and his management over the last five years? I think he's done really well. I think we should keep him. Yeah, he's yeah. done very well. Yeah. And, um, yeah, if, think, yeah. and who sort of stood out for you this season? Who do you think sort of our, who's impressed you the I'm most? Like, um, Taylor, or as I call him, Shaggy. Shaggy. Uh, Shaggy. <laughs> Like what about on Saturday now that uh, James Henry um, and Henderson look like they're going to be missing? Who would you, who would you what team would you play? I'll leave that to Kenny to be honest with you. I'm not really a football that too much of a football man. I'll follow me in wall, but that's about as far as it goes. You join in all the singing, don't you? That's your uh, that's all the it, chance. Yeah. <laughs> Well, don't start singing when they sing that your boxing match. When you're in the middle of the ring, start singing with them. <laughs> you concentrate when you're in there, mate. So, I'll John, try not to. Johnny, um, you know, you're talking about training. What, what do you do on a daily basis when you're in training for a fight? What, how, how many hours do you put in? Uh, well, I work full time, so I can only train of a night. All oh, right, okay. So, um, I usually get to the gym about half six. We all train as a team, so we're trained to about. Eight, half eight, and then we'll go running for about half hour, 45 minutes after. Do you have a sparring partner in that? You mix it up, really. Um, we spar Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. The people I spar, mostly spar is Sam Webb, who's fighting for a British title on the 15th of December. And uh, Bradley Skeet's another main sparring partner. He's fighting for the Southern Area title on the 15th of December. And uh, I've also sparred Lee Purdy last, yesterday and last week, and he's Incredible sparring. And what, and what do you expect from your sparring partner? What, 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 what you say? It's incredible. What, what's incredible? What's he well, he's, he's, he's just ruthless. He just sticks it right on you, and he, he can really hit as well. And yeah. he just don't take his back to the step. Oh. So, yeah. It, um, yeah, it's good. That's did you see a sign, a time, hopefully, Johnny, that you have to go full time boxing? I don't think I'd like to go full time. I'd like to cut my working hours down and train a bit more, but I don't think I'd like to go full time. What do you do, John? What's your job? I'm a mechanic. Not very good at it, though, but I'm oh. pretty sure. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. I was going to bring me a car. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Johnny, thank you so much for coming on the show tonight, and uh, good luck on the 23rd, and I'm sure a few of us are going to come down from yeah, the show the to support yeah. you. And, um, and yeah, no, it's been great having you on the show tonight. And listeners, go and contact Johnny, and uh, let's all go down and have a great night and support you. Thank you. But thank Johnny, you. Good luck, and come on, you lions. Good luck, Johnny. Bye. Good luck, John. Bye now. Future star there, Johnny Garton.